The labor market has been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. It will be a long road back to the employment levels that we saw earlier this year when things were humming along. 2020, as we know, has been a really tough year. There's a great deal of uncertainty too as to what 2021 will bring. Salary increases in 2020 for non-unionized employees came in at 2%. This is the lowest we've seen in the last 25 years and also down from what compensation planners had anticipated for 2020. As we head into 2021, we're seeing employers continue to show restraint. The average pay increase is projected to be 2.1% next year. This is keeping pace with our inflation forecast, which is also expected to land at 2.1% for 2021. Of course, this has been a vastly different experience depending what industry you're in. Um, and where you live in the country. Alberta is really feeling the brunt of this. Um, salary and projections in Alberta are lower than the rest of the country at 1.7%. The province was hit hard, like other provinces, by COVID-19 shutdowns, but it's really disruption in the energy sector that's driving this. Recovery will be uneven among industries, of course. Industries that lend themselves well to remote work have weathered this uh, better than others, uh, such as financial services, professional services. We saw minimal job losses in these industries and they're recovering quickly. Industries that were shut down for short periods, such as manufacturing and construction, are also on the road to recovery. Uh, the trouble really lies in our tourism, recreation, accommodation, food services sectors which were all hard hit and will be slower to recover. I believe employment levels uh, in many industries will not return to their pre-pandemic levels until a vaccine's available and Canadians feel comfortable again going out and about in large crowds. What we need to keep in mind is that many organizations are struggling financially and otherwise, and many let us know that they're delaying their decisions and don't know what they can afford yet when it comes to pay plans. More than a third of organizations we surveyed do not yet have preliminary budget recommendations. For many organizations, 2021 will bring pay freezes. Already we know that 14% of organizations are planning freezes. As more decisions are taken, we expect to see more freezes coming in and downward revisions to the 2021 pay plans that are in place. Base pay is a critical component of rewards with budget challenges. Uh, this is a time to be looking beyond base pay to making sure that you have other rewards uh, humming along as well. There are many ways to reward employees. It's time to get creative, whether it's through recognition, flexibility, health and wellness programs, time off, uh, making sure you have the right supports in place at a time when many employees are struggling both at work and home with some new and unique challenges.